Good morning. Uh, my, my name is Clark Durant. I'm running to be your United States Senator. Today there's an opportunity for all the citizens of Michigan to get into action to create jobs. First, the House of Representatives is proposing that not only do we lower the uh, payroll tax for our citizens, but they are also proposing that we, uh, that the administration approve as a condition of that tax cut the uh, Keystone XL pipeline that will bring thousands of jobs to America. Uh, and Debbie Stabenow and Carl Levin are dragging their feet. And frankly, so are the Democratic House members from Michigan. Call your state representatives, call your two United States senators, and urge them not only to support the payroll tax cut, but also to support the Keystone XL pipeline that not will create jobs and begin the process of opening up energy resources. Now, instead of just transporting oil from Canada to our coastline to ship in many cases elsewhere, let's start opening up American oil and creating even more American jobs, reducing the cost of energy, instead of having Debbie Stabenow and Carl Levin standing in the way of progress, of jobs, of energy independence, and defunding our enemies in the Middle East who we have become dependent upon for our own oil. Why are we doing that? We should be dependent on American ingenuity, American entrepreneurship, and American resources to create American jobs. Uh, I think it's great that Debbie Stabenow today is trying to find the money that her friend John Corzine doesn't know where it went on behalf of these shareholders uh, at MF Global. Well, Senator Stabenow, that's great. But would you also stand up to create jobs instead of just finding lost money? And it is important to find that money, but don't stand on the sidelines while these other jobs can be created and need to be created for America to be great again and for Michigan to get moving again. God bless you all and thank you very much.